Well, this charger seems to be doing the trick pretty damn good. Uh, it's at 41.38, and it's already pushed, uh, I think, 5 or 6 amp hours into these batteries. Very slow charge, yeah, 4.8. But it's only charging at 1.6 amps steady. I'm not sure if this is an SLA charger or if it's made for LiPo now, or, I mean, lithium. But uh, it has a 42-volt output, so I'd imagine they've stepped their charges up from the sealed lead acid to a new lithium version, I guess. I'm not positive about that, but I guess I'll have to find out. But uh, I have to go somewhere, so I'm going to cut the charge out, and uh, we'll kick back in later. Well, I got the 18650 pack sitting at 41.71 volts. Uh, pushed probably about 11 amp hours into them to get them here. So let's put it on the bike, see if it does anything. Well, I've been going wide open throttle. Uh, it's a pretty hilly terrain. And I'm uh, almost at six miles in the pack. It's performing all right, but I mean, it's a 20 amp hour pack, and it's already been sagging down to 35 volts on some really big hills. So as you can see, it's not operating the way it should. But these are laptop cells, and they're only, only rated at 1C, maybe 2C for some bursts. But I got a max speed of like 33 miles an hour going down a hill earlier. Oh man, these bumps are pretty bad. But I'm pushing these packs to the limit, and I'm going to drive them until the low volt cut on my controller shuts them off. And then we'll charge it and see what happens. So I took the long way to the trails today uh, because, as you know, I'm testing out these Sony 18650GR cells. They're they're fairly warm, but it's not too bad. And uh, they're at 39.34 volts right now. 4.847 amp hours have been taken out of the packs. 23.7 amps is the max draw on this controller, it's good to know. But as you can see, the voltage sag uh, on a really big hill, like almost right off the start of the trip, put me down to 35.09 volts, which is a little bad. It means uh, that these aren't really liking 20 amp draw. And there's just a ton of cells in here. I mean, these things are pretty heavy to haul around. I thought about putting a rear rack on the bike just for this, but. It has to have a full bolt going through and it's got the quick release. Yeah, it's a quick release. But 34 mile per hour max speed and I'm just about 9 miles away right now. I don't know if I uh still waiting for my 48 volt controller and it's really bothering me because I, I can't try that 15 cell DeWalt battery. I was thinking about putting the rear rack on the bike and just finding a way to put it on the bike so I can use these cells a little more for now. They won't operate at 72 volts because uh, there's only six of them in parallel so it'll only hold like 10 amp max draw. Right now it's uh, 12 in parallel and it doesn't even want to do the 20 amp draw that it's doing. But now that I hooked up my watt meter to this tiny little controller that I had that video of where I beefed up the the tray shunts and the MOSFET bars and everything, it draws 22 amps. So that's pretty good for a tiny controller like this. And you saw that big golden motor controller that's uh, more than twice the size and it only draws the same amount of power. The controller is cold right now to the touch. Uh, after I cranked up a couple big hills, it was pretty warm to the touch, kind of about as warm as these batteries are right now. But there's some crazy dirt hills that I'm about to take 
to get down through these trails. Obviously on camera the hills don't look as big and bad, but it's all single track and it's all very rocky. And I got about a mile of this till I get back to flat trail, so let's see if I can make it. Well, I have to say, these cells may sag a little bit, but we're at 11 miles. We're going strong, we're going up a slight, slight grade here, and we're holding steady. Made it through all them nasty, rocky trails with all those hills, like nothing. The only thing slowing me down today are these shitty grip shifters, and I may have to replace them because they're getting, they're getting on my nerves. But battery packs doing decent, doing better than I expected it to do. Well, I have to say that this trip was uh, quite a success. The cells are pretty warm. Uh, don't get me wrong, but I just uh, pretty much abused them after they were at zero volts. I gave them pretty much a 15 to 20 amp draw the entire time. My max speed was over 15 miles an hour the entire trip. They're still at 38.6 volts. As you can see, uh, almost 24 amps on the max draw. And they sagged to 34.88. 7.2 amp hours taken out of the packs. Now I know what you're thinking. These are supposed to be, when they're in parallel, 20 amp hour battery. It's a lot of cells. I think there's uh, 60 there and 60 there. So there's 120 cells. But not bad results for the first discharge after they've been at zero volts. packs didn't actually die, the controller didn't actually cut off as you saw I still had two or three more volts to go my controller is set up to cut off I think 32.5 volts and 34.88 was uh, the lowest sag coming up my hill to my house there's a couple things that have been bothering me today about the tidal force though today was my longest ride, uh, electric ride at 12 miles and uh, there's a few things that I don't like about the bike, like the quick release on the seat post. I don't like that. I don't like the grip shifters at all. I might be switching back to some old standard shifters. Uh, the rear suspension not having it was a little tough today, especially on that really rocky trail. There was a couple spots. And my rear disc brakes are starting to act up again. Uh, I think my rear rotor is uh, warped and it's causing some issues so I might have to just buy a whole new adapter and rotor for my new motor when it when I decide to put it on and actually use it another thing that got to me today was my street tires on the dirt I had a lot of spots where I was slipping out and spinning out up hills and it was making me not be able to ride the way I'd like to ride but I'm gonna let these cells cool down for probably I don't know a half hour to an hour before I throw them back on charge and top them off that's all I got for today.